Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. So today we will be adding a brand new sea animal set to our articulated sea animals figurines collection right here. Okay, so you guys should know I have a box which I keep some of this sea animals instead of um these drawers right here. Okay, so we are very excited to be adding new species to our collection. Let's find out together what type of sharks and whales they are so let's do this all right guys so let's shift all of these figurines away and let's have a closer look at this brand new set right here okay so it doesn't have any brand we basically got this from uh, a china online store it is not the best quality figures but i feel they are very beautiful when it comes to the coloration as well as the sculpt okay so i'm gonna take a pair of scissors let's try to get all of the figures out of the box okay so let's do this let's let's begin with the dolphin first okay i think this is actually actually quite tight so we definitely need to cut the strings loose for sure wow okay i think we've got the first figure out what type of dolphin is this not too sure it doesn't look like a bottlenose dolphin, but it should have the name written right below. So let's have a look together. Okay, Northern Right Whale Dolphin. This is the first time I'm actually hearing this breed, this species of dolphin, okay? Northern Right Whale Dolphin. I will definitely find out more about this dolphin for the next video. Very beautiful one. Let's place this right here. And let's get our next item out or next sea animal art i think let's go with um this wheel right here guys okay i think this is this require us to cut the strings loose as well but this pair of scissors is not exactly very strong it's very hard for me to um cut the strings loose so let's have a look together so what is this it looks like um a gray wheel to me but let us let us untie this for now Okay, let's get the metal strings, which is like basically like the wires out of um let's release. Oh, it's very difficult. So we definitely have to do it like later on. Okay, let's have a look at this. You're able to move the jaw. Very cool. It also looks like a harm back wheel, to be honest. Okay, I, I think you guys must be shouting out to me. Dan, just remove it. Save the dolphin. Save the wheel. Let's try this. Yeah, there you go. Okay, beautifully done. Wow, you can see the flippers or oh, the fins are really big and of course it comes with a movable tail So make a guess guys, is this like a hornback wheel or a grey wheel or a blue wheel? Let's have a look together Okay, it's basically the hornback wheel like what I've mentioned because I recognize the little bumps on its body So we have a right wheel dolphin right here which um, you know Northern right whale dolphin to be exact, and of course a hornback whale. The hornback whale is actually a new addition to um, the articulated sea animals collection. Okay, so let's get this little octopus out of the box as well. This is pretty tough. You know the tentacles is actually tight, very very um, tightly to this. It's not easy for me to cut it as well. I'm trying my best to cut it. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I think I'm holding the scissors a bit dangerously. So you have to get your parents to help you. I mean, if you are a kid watching this video, okay. So what do we have right here? A beautiful octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight tentacles. Oc basically means eight. So yep, octopus right here. Octopus are well known for their camouflaging abilities. Okay, next up, let's get this robber gang Robber Gong. Robber Gong out of the... Um, okay, maybe this one first. This one, I have absolutely no idea what this two small little sea creatures are. And um, you guys can see I'm struggling to cut the wires loose. <laughs> okay, so we have two fish. Um, I was going to say they could be fox face rabbit fish but i'm not too sure but you can see there is like some names written right here so let's have a look wow 
is a butterfly fish. I can't really see what. Car. Car drop. Car drop. Ear drop. Ear drop butterfly fish. Wow. I've never heard of this species of um fish before. So yeah, I mean, if you guys have seen this before or heard of this before, please comment down be down below. Okay, so we have our very first ear drop butterfly fish. Very cool. I like it. Next up, let's get this out. This should be a carpet fish, a kind of a carpet fish. It looks like a wobber gong. So let's have a look together. A green wobber gong, I suppose. Let's have a look. Spotted wobber gong. Nice, okay, we do have a couple of rubber gongs in our collection. So this is basically a new one, um, you know, in our collection. Very cool. Okay, let's get the sea corals out of the way as well. Okay. So what do we have right here? Is there any name or indication of what this specific corals are? Let's have a look. Nah, there isn't any name for this, but you can see it is a beautiful corals. Um, some of them are in purple, some of them are in green. Of course, you can find some seashells right here as well. Beautiful sea corals. Okay, next up, we have to get the shark out of the box, which I don't think is easy because it is tight, tightly over here. So I'm gonna use my um, scissors. You guys can see this scissors is not exactly very strong so it's very very difficult for us to get this out i probably have to pause the video for a bit all right i managed to get it out finally so let's have a look at this oh my goodness is it is written as a um scientific name isaris oxyrhynchus i have no idea what this is but um, it definitely looks like a mako shark. I'm gonna do some research on this. Isiris oxyrhynchus to check out what species this is. Okay, so I have figured this out, okay? So I basically Googled Isiris oxyrhynchus and it's basically the scientific name of a short fin mako shark. You guys should have seen my short fin mako shark before, right? in my you know sharks collection video so yep we do have a new short feed mako shark so if i'm not wrong this is actually only our um is only the second of our short feed mako shark figure yeah very cool okay so what do we have right here humpback will new figure short fin mako shark a new figure and of course we have the northern right will our first northern right will we have an octopus and we also have a year drop butterfly fish. I've never heard of this species before. So what we are going to do next is basically to take a look at our collection of the sea animals that we have placed, you know, inside this box. Okay, so let's have a look at them together. At the end of the video, I'm probably going to give you guys some updates of um, what's coming up next on Dan Safari as well as Dan Surprise. So what do we have right here? Um, this is a shark, basically. It could be a great white shark or it could be potentially known as a Megalodon, I, I feel. Okay, this one, it's um, a shark, which is from the Imagine Next collection, I think. It's a pretty cool one. It comes with wheels, so you can check this out, okay? If you move this shark right on the table, you can see the tail will move along as well. Very cool and you can see it's moving the tail from sideways at a very, very fast speed. Okay, very cool. And it com also comes with an, you know, movable jaw that you can actually press right here. You know, the flippers, the fins can move as well. Very, very cool figure, I would say. Okay, let's see what else we got. We have another one which is very very cool. We got this from Toys R Us. Toys R Us in my country is still open. So it's a goblin shark. So you can see a lot of sharks, they actually have multiple rows of teeth. And they have the ability to grow back its tooth. Um, I mean its teeth if um, you know they go missing. Yeah. So here's another one. Very cool. Um, comes with a button on top. 
which is awesome. I love all these figures with articulation, with buttons to move. All car. All right, also known as the killer whale, they are extremely strong and powerful. They are basically the apex predator. They can even take down whales, which are much larger in size than them, okay? And speaking about size, what do we have right here, guys? The big bad megalodon. <laughs> yes, it's basically the prehistoric shark, which is 10 times the size of a modern day shark, okay? Yep, here's the Megalodon, as you guys can see, plenty of teeth, and every single tooth, if it goes missing, you know, due to probably like attacking its prey, will grow back, which is very, very incredible. Okay, next up, another incredible sea animal. What is this? This is basically the sailfish. You can also call it a sword sailfish because it actually has a snout, which looks like a sword. It's very sharp and of course they can use this sword looking feature on his body to capture his prey. Very cool. Next up, we have another dolphin. I'm not too sure what is the exact species of this particular dolphin. It could be a bottlenose, I think. It may not be a bottlenose because I remember bottlenose dolphin, they have quite a long snout. This one could be a pink dolphin. Yeah, probably. Okay, next up, we have two more orcas. As you guys can see, orcas, they are basically dolphins as well. Extremely intelligent, but they can be extremely aggressive as well. They are the apex predators, um, and they hunt in pods. Pods basically means like groups of dolphins, groups of, um, yeah, so they basically hunt, they basically hunt in a group, and they are very, very efficient as well. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the hammerhead sharks. Okay, we have two exact similar, exactly the same similar um, figures right here. Hammerhead shark. It comes with a movable head, movable tail, and movable fins. The, the fin on top can't be pressed, okay? So hammerhead sharks, they are well known for their hammerheads. I mean, obviously, right? And you guys know that they can actually use the hammerhead to pin their prey down while feeding on them. So that is the use of the hammerhead. It is extremely useful. So this large hammerhead is extremely useful to pin down stingrays and other rayfish, okay? Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna put the hammerhead shark into the box. Next up, we're gonna take a look at two more great whites. Okay, uh, you know, I was trying to press the fin because I'm still used to pressing some of the fins, you know, to move the jaw, but this too doesn't have, um, you know, a button on its top. So we have two great white sharks right here. Great whites are extremely powerful sharks, I would say. And of course, they, are, they can be quite dangerous as well. Okay, next up, goblin shark right here. It has got to be one of the most hideous looking sharks ever, okay? Okay, when they can only be found in the deep ocean waters, when they are not feeding, this is ac this is actually how they look like without the very, in, uh, you know, um, terrifying jaw. But once they are going to feed on some fish, I mean on its prey, they will extend their mouth out like this, which can be quite gruesome looking and quite terrifying, right? Okay, next up, what do we have right here? Oh my goodness, this, is, this isn't supposed to be in this video because I was just going to show you guys like, you know, the sea animals with their articulation, but this is actually like a whale shark, I think. Yeah, a whale shark. It looks like a shark, but it is actually a whale shark. I mean, it looks like a great white in some ways. Speaking of great white, we have another one. This is actually from, um, you know, either Papo or Schleck. And um, I've kept one of this you know, inside this box because we have, we already have one in um, the drawer and you know, it's taking up too much space. So, yep. Here's another great white shark. This is actually from, if I'm not wrong, Bully Land. Here's another great white and this one is from Papo, but I'm not too sure whether this it's an original Papo product or it could be a bootleg. 
here is another wheel. What is this wheel? Is this a grey wheel or a blue wheel? Let's check it out. Uh, it doesn't say. It basically tells us the scientific name which is known as a um, Barley Noptera. Yeah. I can't see because the words are extremely unclear. Barley Noptera. Um, I can't really see what is this the third letter from here. It's okay. It's basically a wheel Right and here's another car all cars This fin right here is actually very prominent. It's very tall and very straight up as well Here's another octopus figure. I mean, it's not another. This is this was basically the one that we have opened up Let's have a look at this. This is a squid. Okay, it comes with um Movable head, okay, not exactly movable. You can't really move them that much. The tail can't be moved that much as well. I'm hoping to find like a name because I'm just gonna call this a squid if I can't find a name. Let's try to find it. Is there a name written inside? Nope, there isn't. Is there a name written on the fins? Oh yes, right here guys. Check this out. Wow, it is another scientific name and it's extremely tiny. I can't even read this, guys. It's too small, way too small. But it's fine. It's a beautiful figure, okay? Whale shark, guys. Check this out. Is this like the first whale shark of our video? I mean, you have seen the rubber, rubbery one. But this one has uh, the movable head, the movable jaw, flippers, tail. It's also from the same set, so it's basically written its um scientific name right at the bottom. Written code on typers. Cool, cool name. Cool scientific name, I would say. So that brings us back to the new figures once again. So corals, spotted rubber gong, eardrop, butterfly fish. I've never heard of them, so very good. I will be researching about this sea animal right now after this video, okay? Humpback whale. Pretty happy that um, they actually write um, the name right here instead of the um, scientific name which we have no idea what it is. So here we have the northern right whale dolphin. I'm super happy with this figure because this is our very very first northern right whale dolphin of course. Shot fin Mako shot. This is our biggest shot fin Mako shot in our collection ever. Okay, guys, so yep. So thanks for watching this, guys. So I've basically placed all of these figures. Okay, guys, I've basically placed all of these sea animal figurines with articulation in this box because they are huge. Yeah, thanks for watching this. Perhaps next time we can do another video of all of these sea animals right here, okay? Thanks for watching this. Hopefully you guys love this video and if it did, please give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to Dan Safari if you have not done so. Subscribe to Dan Surprise as well. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Request for a personalized video in the about ours tab. Sneak feed URL. Of course, you can also um, connect with me right over there, okay? You can send me fan mail as well. I have an address at the About Arts tab. You can send me figures to review. You can also send me drawings and letters. I'll be super happy and I'll be reading them when um you know in the videos as well. Okay? Thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.